We'll call the meeting to order. This is Jerry Jones, Vice Chairman, uh, chairing the meeting. Let's do the roll call. Mayor Vandersteen. Here. Alderperson Bourne. Here. Ryan Sazma. Here. Jerry Jones. Here. Marilyn Montemeyer. Here. David Hoffman. Here. And Don Svitan. Don Svitan. Don is not here. Sounds good. We'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll do introduction of committee members and staff. Once again, my name is Jerry Jones, Vice Chairman of the Plan Commission. To my left. Dave Hoffman, citizen member. Steve Sokolowski from the Planning Department, and I also have Lene Weirs helping me out uh, from our building inspection today for our, our minutes. All right, so I'm the Department of Public Works. And on the phone. Mayor Vandersteen. Alderman Jim Bourne of the 10th District. Marilyn Chad Montemayor. Telechek. And Chad Telechek, City Planning Director. Great. Is anyone else on the call today? Okay, great. Any potential conflicts of interest from any of the members of the commission? If there are none, we'll take approval of the plan commission minimums from October 27, 2020. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion to approve, Warren. <laughs> Second, Vanderstein. It's been moved and seconded to approve under discussion. There's no further discussion. All in favor of the motion, state aye. 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 Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carries. First item for discussion, 3.1. Conditional use and variance application by Marshall Sign LLC to install a new electronic reader board on the existing Etude Group School Monument sign located at 3508 North 21st Street. Steve. All right. Um, Katie Schultz is here representing, or from Marshall Sign, who is representing um, Etude School. And uh, basically what we're taking a look at is there's an existing monument sign. Um, Etude uh, shares the same facility as Pigeon River School. So Pigeon River presently has a monument <clears throat> sign out there with reader board. And Etude is looking to, um, they have an existing monument sign. They wanted to add the electronic reader board on the bottom of the sign. So... Uh, um, with that, there is one variance that's required. Um, typically for a school, it's 24 square feet, and the total of this sign is gonna be 30 square feet. Uh, the existing panel is 21 square feet, and the new reader board will be nine square feet. So staff was recommending approval of the conditional use and variance, and I can't answer any questions, and the applicants here as well. Sounds good. Uh, is there anything you would like to add to that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. She's like, no, I'm golden. Okay. Uh, commission members, any questions or input? Mr. Chairman, this is Alderman Bourne. I'll make a uh, motion to approve subject to conditions. Second. Monty Mayor, second. It's been moved and seconded to approve subject to staff recommendations under discussion. There's no further discussion. We'll have a call, roll, call of the roll. All right. Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Alderperson Bourne. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. And David Hoffman. Aye. Passed unanimously. Sounds great. Good luck. Congratulations you. to you. Item 3.2, Transpo Mini Storage, time extension to construct new mini storage buildings at the existing Transpo Mini Storage facility located at 1210 South 10th Street. Steve. All right, John Becker is here representing Transpo Mini Storage. And what we're taking a look at today is in March, 
of uh, 2020, earlier this year, the plan commission had approved a conditional use permit from Transpo to construct new mini storages <laughs> at their uh, facility located at 1210 uh, South 10th Street. Um, the, at the same time, uh, the plan commission approved the conditional use to also uh, allow Transpo to construct a new facility at their Superior Avenue site. And the applicant is here today uh, asking for a time extension request to pull building permits on the um, uh, Kentucky Avenue site. And the reason being is that um, uh, Transpo completed the Superior Avenue location this past year, but they were unsure as to what the economic impact would be with COVID. And so they had some concerns about starting the other project um, this year. Um, they now feel confident that the 10th Street project would move forward and their timeline to start demolition would be in May of 2021 and hope to be completed by August 20 of 21. So they are asking for a time extension and staff had no issues with that request. Um, as I said, they were approved in March, so they would have until March of 21 to begin, but obviously uh, the it's still winter and the ice is probably still in the ground. So they wanted to have an extension until June 4th of 2021 and uh, staff had no objections to that. So I can answer any questions and the applicants here as well. Sounds good, thanks Steve. Is there anything else you'd like to add to that? I think you covered it. <laughs> All right, we got a good day. Commission members, any questions? Uh, Mayor Vandersteen, I'd move for approval. We have, a second. we have a motion and second to approve as presented. One question for you. Is there anything in particular that changed your mind as far as moving forward in 21 and not waiting until 22? Yeah, the 14 units we put up on Superior Avenue, we opened those up, I think, the second or third week in August. And we had all 14 units rented in 12 days. And we've been at 99% now uh, since last <clears throat> July, full. So we think it's definitely time. And with the new apartments that just got approved recently, right around that area, I think we're not gonna have any problems filling these up as well. Fantastic, thanks so, for the feedback, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. We'll call the roll. Sounds good. <clears throat> Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Older person born. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. And David Hoffman. Aye. Passed unanimously. Thank you. Good luck. Yep. Item 3.3, RO 94-20-21 and GO 22-20-21 by Alderperson Phillips, amending the city's future land use map of the Sheboygan Comprehensive Plan to change the land use classification of property located at 1125 North 13th Street from class employment to class community mixed use classification. Steve. All right, thank you, Jerry. Um, John Elmendorf is here representing uh, Progressive Beginnings as well as Elmendorf Properties LLC. Um, what we're taking a look at is the former Salvation Army uh, daycare facility that was located at 1125 North 13th Street. And um, presently the property has a zoning designation of urban industrial and um, a, a clinic or a professional service type use is not allowed in that urban industrial zone. So what uh, 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 Elmendorf Properties LLC is proposing to do is to rezone the property from urban industrial to urban commercial to allow uh, um, progressive beginnings, uh, 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 occupational, occupational and physical therapy clinic to potentially have the ability to apply for a conditional use to operate from 1125 North 13th Street. So the first step in a rezone is to see the, the comprehensive plan designation has to be consistent with the zoning designation. So the first um, item that we hear, item 3.3, .3, is to amend the comprehensive plan from uh, uh, employment to community mixed use. And so uh, that's what staff is recommending approval for on this matter. Sounds good. Anything you'd like to add, John? 
Yeah, it's a, uh, uh, this, this clinic virus is progressive beginning. It's been here for roughly 21 years in Sheboygan. We've mm -hmm. leased in two different areas. And ironically, this property that, that was the rehab center of Sheboygan when it was initially built and then transferred to Salvation Army about 10 years ago was the actual location that my wife had her first job as an occupational therapist in the city of Sheboygan, and which is what brought us to Sheboygan to start our clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was very ironic. It's been a weird year just in general, but uh, we feel like this property is set up perfectly for a small practice that we bring to Sheboygan County, and it's a service that's been very beneficial to the area. So that's what we're looking to do. Great. Any questions from the commission members? Chairman, I, me go ahead, Marilyn. Um, I was just going to say this sounds like a good use of that spot in the city of Sheboygan. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, Alder Board? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was just going to reiterate what Marilyn said. I think that uh, that's going to be an excellent, excellent, excellent use for that, for that uh, property. Uh, now that the Salvation Army won't be there anymore. Uh, with that said, I'd make a motion to approve subject to staff condition. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to approve subject to staff recommendations under discussion. There is no further discussion. We'll call the roll. Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Alderperson Bourne. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. And David Hoffman. Aye. A unanimous vote to approve. Okay, thank you. We'll move to 3.4 related RO 94-20-21 and GO-23-20-21 by Alderperson Phillips amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 1125 North 13th Street from Class Urban Industrial UI to Class Urban Commercial UC classification. Thank you. Um, so, so this is the exact same property, and as was mentioned previously, um, with regards to the zoning ordinance, the zoning designations have to be consistent with the comprehensive plan uh, classification. So that's why we needed to amend the uh, comprehensive plan, the last item first, and now this particular item is the actual rezone request, and this is going to be from urban industrial to urban commercial, and again, this would allow for the progressive uh, uh, beginnings, the opportunity to apply for a conditional use to the plan commission to operate from this site. So that's the hope from Elmendorf uh, Properties LLC is they're uh, looking to uh, have these properties redesignated so that they can purchase the facility and then operate progressive beginnings and submit an application back to you. So staff was again recommending approval of the rezone. Sounds good. I'll entertain a motion from the commission. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve subject to staff recommendations under discussion. There's no further discussion. We'll call the roll. Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Alderperson Bourne. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. And David Hoffman. Aye. Unanimous. Sounds good. Always good to see you, John. Good luck, Thank you guys. See you Thank soon. Thank you. If I could just make one more comment. So, um, uh, John, what you'll want to do is make sure you uh, stay in contact with the clerk's department because this will go to the council. But at the next council meeting, it'll just be what's called lied over because they have to send out notice to the property owners. And then the following council meeting is when the actual hearing um, will take place on this matter to make the change. So I don't know if it's yourself or Gary Gartman, but you guys may want to start getting in contact with me on the conditional use permit submittal. Okay, we'll be talking tomorrow. We'll be talking. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Thank you. That council meeting, uh, Steve, would be uh, December 7th. Thank you. All right, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Can you do oh. that yourself? Second. So moved, yeah, Mayor yeah. Vanderstein. I can't do it myself. I know. Normally, it's me. <laughs> all in favor of the all in favor of the motion, state aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carried.
Good night, everyone. Everybody on the line, feel better soon if you're not feeling well right now. <laughs> Thank you.